Ready to sing with me today? I read the last chapter of the Bible this morning. It talks about a time when things are going to be really, really good. We get to be with God forever and ever. Live in his big house. In fact, Jesus, before he went to heaven, said, I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go, I will come again. And I will receive you unto myself. And that where I am, there you may be also. One day, all those who know in God, who know in Jesus, who have accepted Jesus as their Savior, are going to get to go to God's house and live there forever and ever. And um, he's going to make a new heaven and a new earth. And we don't, it says we don't even need a sun because God will be our light. I don't know how all that's going to work, but God has it all figured out. And I like to sing about it. Can you sing with me? Come and go with me to my father's house. Come and go with me to my father's house. It's a big, big house with lots and lots of rooms. A big, big table. With lots and lots of food, a big backyard where we can play football, touchdown, a big, big house, and it's my father's house. Are you doing the motions? I can't do the motions and play the guitar. It's your job. Okay, uh, house, father's house, my father's house, throw that football. Ready? Sing it with me. Come and go with me to my father's house. We thank you for this day. <coughs> I thank you for these first graders. I pray you bless them today. I pray you with Miss Barton and Mrs. Tuggle. I said that wrong. Mrs. Barton and Miss Tuggle today, Lord. You know everything. You know everything going on with them. You know that these guys are working hard to finish out this school year. I pray you bless them and help them. Pray for Mrs. Adams today as she leads our elementary. I pray for our um um, Miss, uh, the people we've been praying for, Alyssa, that you continue to strengthen and help her. I pray that you be with Mrs. O'Donnell and continue to bless her, bring her along, Lord. Help all those that are struggling today, Lord. Be with them in Jesus' name. Amen. Can we praise them with our hands today and our mouths and our arms and our feet? Can you guess what I'm going to sing? I bet you can. Um, now, can I remember what it sounds like? Uh, I praise you, Lord, with the hands you made. I could clap for you all day. I praise you, Lord, with the mouth you made. I could sing for you all day. Oh, I praise you because you made me in an amazing and wonderful way. Psalm 139, 14. Clap, 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 clap. Psalm 139, 14. I praise you, Lord, with the arms you made. I could wait for you all day. I praise you, Lord, with the feet you made. I could jump for you all day. I praise you because you made me in an amazing and wonderful way. Psalm 139, 14. Psalm 139, 14. those words I think I am I am about to break my pick I've been and Gianna's dad was so kind and gave me picks a uh, grandpa I'm sorry it was Gianna's grandpa gave me picks for my guitar that one time I was in chapel and I had a broken pick and Gianna's grandpa was so kind to uh, give me picks and I'm still using them so thank you 
uh, Pastor Green. And I had an extra one there and another one ready to go when that one broke. Um, who wrote that? Who wrote those words? Praising God that he made him. Do you remember? We sing a song about him too. Only a boy named David. Only a little sling. Only a boy named David. But he could pray and sing. Only a boy named David. Only a rippling brook. Only a boy named David. But five little stones. I can't show five. Five little stones he took. I can get down with my guitar so I hope you went all the way down and David man God started working on him when he was just a kid just like you he did what his dad asked him to do he needed to watch the sheep David was the little brother and that was his job and he watched the sheep faithfully he obeyed his dad and he started working on his skills. He started practicing them, didn't he? Got a slingshot out, started practice using it. And then a test came. A lion trying to take one of his sheep. David was ready with that slingshot. Shoo, got the lion. The Bible says a bear. Shoo. And David took care of the bear with God's help. And then there came a giant who, was, who hated our God. And there were, the people of God were afraid, and David was strong and powerful in God's strength. God's strength. Do you have your armor on today? Did you put your armor on today? Oh my goodness. We need to get that armor on. I'm going to have to put the guitar down to do that. I am a Christian. A mighty, mighty Christian. I am a Christian. A mighty, mighty Christian. You got your shield? I've got the shield of faith. Righteous breastplate. Sword of the spirit. My loins are covered with truth. Helmet of salvation. I've got my gospel shoes on. And remember, we got to do this part all together. And I'm dressed in the full armor of God. I am a Christian. A mighty, mighty Christian. I am a Christian. A mighty, mighty Christian. I've got the shield of faith. Righteous breastplate. Sword of the Spirit. My loins are covered with truth. Helmet of salvation. I've got my gospel shoes on. Together. And I'm dressed in the full armor of God. I am a Christian. A mighty, mighty Christian. I am a Christian. A mighty, mighty Christian. I hope you are mighty in the Lord today. I hope you are ready to go. I hope you are ready to conquer whatever it is this week. We only have two weeks of school left. Oh my goodness. Get going on that work. Work hard. Ask the Lord for his help. He will give it to you. He always does. He never, when we ask him for help, he never says no. He always is faithful. Thank you, Lord. Praising him. Get your armor on. Get ready to go today. Um, I, uh, actually wanted to talk about, see if I don't have my president faces today. I was going to see if you could sing them with me without, I know Esther, I could not believe, and I probably, I might've already talked about this on a class, but it is worth talking to again. She posted a video. She was saying all 45 presidents and hula hooping at the same time. I need to try that. I'm not a very good hula hooper. I was amazed. And she had all of them learned. 
You guys all have them learn. History's full of people and times and we have learned them in this rhyme. Presidents of the USA have made our country great today. Washington, Adams, Jefferson, Madison, Monroe, Adams, Jackson, Van Buren, Harrison, Tyler, Pope and Taylor, Awesome job. If you did it, maybe you back it up and try it again or listen to them or look back at one of our videos if you want to see their names and their faces. And remember the song we were singing? The prayer that we should be praying for our president, for our country. God bless America. that song with me and prayed that prayer with me. Now we're ready for workbooks. So the Tahara goes away. I'm Magically just here I am with your workbook. Doing them over here today a little differently. I'm going to show you um, some different things. There's a lot in your workbook that we could do and we're going to run out of time to do it all this year. So, <clears throat> excuse me. We have been doing the ring around the rosy section and there's several things in that section to practice. Um, looking at pages 42, 43, um, uh, well actually I guess it's just those, those two pages. To practice our so mi do um, in different sections. So mi do on the spaces, so mi do on the lines. Um, and again, some of you have showed me those things. Great. Um, not everybody. I'd love to see it still. Um, the next two pages are also practicing writing So Me Do on the staff. And I'm going to come over here a little bit. Hopefully you can see the page. Now, it's a song we have not really, um, we haven't learned it. Wallflowers, wallflowers. Um, but even a song we don't know, if we know what so me do sounds like, and we know these rhythms. Let's look at the rhythm first. Ta, ti, ti, ta, ti, 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 ta. Ti, 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 ta, ti, 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 ta. We got the rhythm. We can look at the notes. So me do, so me do, so, so, la, so me. So, so, me, do, so, me, do. And then it's never, never die. And they, there's a note in there that we have not learned yet. And that's why they didn't put it there. Now, the, the thing is, they didn't put the words in here. So, I, I honestly don't even know this song. It's in your book. You can look, look back. If you want to do some extra investigation and extra practice, you could do that on page 44. I'm not assigning that. Page 45 shows you uh, the so me do, so me do on lines now. Um, so if you want extra practice, 
Go for it. Do it. It gives you all the information. You don't even have to sing the song. You can just look at So Me Do and you can write it onto the staff. That's a great rehearsal thing. But I'm not assigning it. So it is extra credit if you want extra practice. Um, I do want you to go to page 46. And here we have a bar line exercise. Okay? Bar line exercise with ta, t, t, start, um, um, bar line. It says add bar line to the rhythm below. So remember to check the meter number at the beginning of each line. That is something that Mrs. Kelly forgot to point out to you in one of our other exercises and they must have known that because they put it in there. Because um, sometimes we have two heartbeats per measure. Sometimes we have four heartbeats per measure. Four beats per measure. So here they've showed you, they've given you some examples at the beginning. Writing in the hearts, again, putting those beat dots is a good idea, dot, 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 dot. Oh, and then we have this note we learned earlier this year. Do you remember the ta, oh, how many counts does it get? One, two. So I'm just gonna show you the first line, ta, t, t, bar line, ta, t, t, bar line, t, 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 bar line. Ta oh, what am I gonna put at the butt at the end? I'm gonna shut the door. I'm gonna put a double bar line, one note that gets two counts. Okay, I want you to do this, page 46, and show it to me. And they give you, they uh, they're giving you lots of help in this book. I do like that about them. They're very kind. Then what I want you to do is do page 47 also. And it's and they call it ta ah. I called it ta o. It really doesn't matter what you call it, as long as you know it gets two counts. The real musician name, but you can change it to o. We're used to saying o. Different people do it differently, and that person does it ta o. So um, ta o. Um, it's actually called a half note. So if you want the, the real fancy musician name, we talked about this. We did talk about this, but it's been a little while. So um, it, we do have a half note, and um, and it's the same as a ta o, and it gets the two counts. Okay. On this page, all you're doing is finding the song that matches. Uh, we know all of these songs. Are you sleep? Are you sleeping, Brother John, Brother John? Morning bells are ringing, morning bells are ringing. Ding, ding, dong, ding, ding, dong. You're looking through these rhythms and you're seeing if you can find that rhythm. We have here, are you sleeping? This is ta, ti, ti. We already know it doesn't match because are you Two toss. Let's try the next one. Are you sleep? Another TT. We know that that is not going to be it. Are you? Another TT. Can't be it. Let's try another one. Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping? Brother John. Brother John. We have a winner. All you're going to do is match it. Easy, right? And it says there is a little trick on this page. Can you find it? It will help you find the answers. So your job is to find the little trick on the page too. Um, and you're going to do that. Uh, you really, the next two songs, we're probably not going to get to. And we're going to, um, at, at this point, do those two pages. I will let you know if we decide to do some extra uh or if once we're done with the workbook, then you can do anything you want. You can go backwards in the workbook if there's some things that you want to look up uh, and just see. In fact, while I'm sitting here, let me see if I can find wallflowers. It might be in the first grade book because it is a book, uh, it is a song that we've learned a long time ago um, or that, that is in some of the books. It's not a song that I grew up with, so I've just never taught it. But uh, it's a good song that helps us teach some things, such as Do, Wallflowers. It's a nice song. I think it's in this book. 
Um, but you're going to look back. If you can look back in your book and notice some things that, hey, I remember that or we never did that and I'd like to do that page, I would recommend that you, you do it. There's some things towards the beginning. Page 18, I don't think we did, and it gives you some practice writing on the staff. Um, I'm not finding wallflowers, so it, and again, it doesn't matter. Um, that's still an exercise that you can do. So this is kind of a short class. Um, and the next class, pro oh, it is, I knew I'd find it. Sorry, I should have had it ready for you. It wasn't that far back. It was wallflowers, wallflowers on page 38. But if you really want to know the words, they're on there. Wallflowers, wallflowers, climbing up so high. May I catch the measles and never, never die. And I did it wrong. I should edit this, but um, it's a Monday, and you need to see that sometimes teachers mess up. But if I want to find the answers, I could go back here, and I could say, remember those words? I could copy those words on if I really want to do extra work. And I could go, wallflowers, wallflowers, no. Um, you guys, why am I climbing up so high? Um, may I catch the measles and never, never die? Maybe that's why I didn't teach it. It's kind of a weird song. Um, anyway, but uh, it's 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 funny. It had a meaning at some point in time. So. All that to say, goodness, I've told you a lot of things that you really don't have to pay attention to in this lesson. The things that I want you to pay attention to, page 46, I'd like to see that one, and the matching on page 47. If you want to do some wallflower flower work, you can. It's in your book, but you don't have to. And so we're going to keep working in our workbook. I'll still give you some, um, some more assignments for the rest of the year. Uh, but we will also be working on our musical. I get to meet with all the third graders on Zoom today. I think you guys have done some Zooming. And I might share that. We'll see how it goes. I might share that video with you to watch and sing along with the third graders next time. And then you can hear how all the speaking parts go and everything. Because again, I hope we get to do that in August. I'm praying. Pray for our country. Pray for our president. Uh, just continue to press forward. I know we're at the end, the finish line. And sometimes the finish line is the hardest place. And I've seen some people quit right at the finish line. And is that the good place to quit? There's no really good place to quit, but man, you're almost there. Keep working hard, keep working hard. And remember, even though I kind of said a lot of things about a lot of different things in this music, the only thing you really have to remember, page 46, 47. I got a little mixed up on wallflowers, but hey, you might like that song and might, might want to practice on that. And I'm going to give you some things to practice with even during the summer if you want to do that. So, miss you second graders. I'll talk to you later.